Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to HPI Auto. My name is Kendall. For those that don't know me, we're starting this video off in the 2020 Genesis G90. This is the 5.0 Ultimate version, all-wheel drive, and it's just a powerful yet very, very, very comfortable sedan that I'm driving right now, and I could not be more impressed with Genesis for this one. So let's dive right into it. So right off the bat, underneath the hood, you have a 5-liter V8 engine in this thing, packing around 420, 432 the wheel, which, again, all-wheel drive system, over 400 of the wheel, like that's that's a lot for a daily driver. Um, but as you can see, I've got total luxury screaming out of this Genesis right now, and it's so comfortable. Like I said, the suspension's really soft, it's forgiving. Reminds me a lot of just like a really squishy kind of SUV. Now I'm taking it easy. I've got a heads up display, which is really nice. You could kind of see the back seats right there. They have tons of good luxury items in there and all the creature comforts that you could ask for in it. There's a sheriff at that stop sign, so I couldn't really say much. But anyways, your zero to 60 time is like pretty impressive. I think it's like a sub five. I think you're in the four second range, which is pretty fast for how much this thing weighs, which is like, which this thing weighs over, over like 4,000 pounds. That's a lot of mo that's a lot of movement for a big car. Now you can kind of see, I don't know if, how well you can pick it up on camera, but you got like the suede or like the Alcantara material right here. You got all black leather. This is so nice and very, very clean. I'm really excited to show you guys this Genesis that we have available. That's how it says goodbye. That's so funny. So this is the interior of this Genesis G90. So let's get into it. Like I mentioned earlier, you've got full black leather interior. You do have some wood accents right here, as well as a really nice like off-white double stitching right there. On the top, you do have a more beige kind of grayish Alcantara slash suede, uh, which is really nice. But looking at this steering wheel, I really love this. It's very comfortable, very relaxing. You do have you do have the paddle shifters right there. Moving along, you do have LCD display right there, all your navigational tools and your climate control tools right here. You do have your gear selector right here, along with your camera, your park sensor, your auto hold, and your different drive modes right there. Down here is wireless charging as well as a USB port. And then you also have your navigational scroll down here. And then of course you got two cup holders right there. Now what I really love about this is it has a nice little storage area right there. So you got a little one right here for like change and stuff. And then you got a big one with more plugins down there. So looking at the seats, these are really comfortable seats. You can see you got the diamond stitching right there. They are fully electric seats. So you got uh, tons of ways to kind of customize how you sit and adjust yourself in these seats What's really cool is that you not only do you have seat controls down there But say you're driving and then you got like uh, I don't know a passenger in the back that needs to like move this chair But you can't move it you just hit these little buttons and this actually scooches it forward So that way your passenger can you know sit more comfortably, which is really nice. It's actually a really cool feature um, that Genesis thought of. I just want you guys to look at this. So you got a, so you got a screen right there and then a screen for your other passenger right here. So let's step in here. You also have the uh, privacy screen right there, like the uh, sunshade kind of thing. Look at how, okay, first of all, we're looking at that. But then, yeah, so you got your display screen right here, like your little iPad screen. You have all of your seat controls right here. So these seats actually recline a little bit more and they adjust a little bit, um, which is really, really nice. Moving in here, you do have navigational screens. You do have your navigational controls right here. You have your seat climates right here. Then you have a two 12 volt plugins right here. So if you have kids, they're easily entertained back here. Or if you, you say if you're like chauffeuring clients or driving people around, like say you're an Uber driver or whatever, this is a really, really nice and luxurious way. Look at that. Oh my God, it's like a little mirror. Oh my God, that's so cool. That is, that is really well thought out. There's tons of leg room here. Like I am so comfortable in this seat right now. Like I could easily take a nap. This is, if I were to have a daily drivable car and I wanted to impress my friends, like I would take this Genesis G90. This is so nice. And then looking under here, I love that detail right there with the Genesis logo. You have tons of storage right here. Trunk space. Looking into the trunk area itself, you do have that automatic. You do have that. You do have that automatic uh, trunk opening with your key fob, but also you can close it right there. Tons of trunk room. I'm impressed because it doesn't look like that at all. But you can see my bag just occupies this little corner right here. So you could definitely put like golf clubs and a whole bunch of stuff back here. I'm really impressed with how much room is occupied and be being used. Like there's so much. Uh, space utilization from Genesis with this car and I'm really impressed by that. 
So this is the exterior of this 2020 G90. This is the 5.0 Ultimate Edition. So it's got that five liter V8 up front, but let's just look at this exterior real quick. You've got a really nice clean white interior. You got tons of chrome accents, really nice uh, dark gray wheels that are done in gloss, which I love. Those are actually really, really nice. But I love these headlights. I love the front grille appearance. You do have a front facing camera right there. So if you're parking in a tight space, you can easily see uh, how far you have to go to the curb. Overall though, love, I love, 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 love how this exterior looks. It's very aggressive. It's very business classy. And it's just uh, very just it's so clean and it really really does um for me for me personally it competes really well against the exterior of like mercedes-benz and like their new their new sedans that are out right now i cannot remember the names because i'm bad with mercedes but i can kind of see i see a little bit of a resemblance in there but this is like a luxury sedan so it is going to be a little bit uh, bigger on the exterior just because you have to accommodate all those luxury items inside and the massive trunk space but looking at the back you got the really cool taillights right here you have a dual tipped exhaust right there and you also have a backup camera right here this is the button you press to open your trunk just so you know i learned that like two seconds ago but that is going to wrap it up for today's video guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up if you are interested in this 2020 genesis g90 i highly recommend you come check it out if you're into like the luxury suv if you're really into like the luxury sedans if you're really wanting something classy but not really mercedes definitely consider the genesis line of sedans and honestly they're coupes as well but this is really really nice it's classy it reminds me it's like a combination between lexus and mercedes a little bit i get i, I kind of get both vibes from it um but anyways if you're curious about it click the link in the description below you can check out more photos and get in contact with the team about picking up this genesis g90 again highly recommend it it's got the powerful v8 up front you got all the luxuries back there and throughout this entire interior and it's just it's a really it's a really nice ride anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time